I love... Oh. Oh, yeah, we're just getting right into it, aren't we? Hi, last time. We got... We got blues. Then we built them up. And then we unlocked the rest of Awakening Wood. And discovered this cave, which we could have gone to earlier. But instead, we're here now. Um... Oh, a candy pop bud already? Yeah, we're in the Boblax Kingdom. Uh, this is... This is... The caves are gonna start ramping up a little bit, because now we have these guys. If you don't know who these guys are, they're bad. These are orange bulborbs. Uh, they're like normal bulborbs, except they eat your Pikmin blindingly fast. Just like... Blindingly fast. You have to be so careful. This is when things start hitting the fan. <laughs> and we are surrounded. So... Let's get cracking. I don't think... I don't remember if they, uh... You do not want to swarm these guys either. This is what... I mean, here's the thing. People talk about how overpowered purple Pikmin are. But what they forget to mention is how... <laughs> is how horrifying some of the enemies are in this game. The orange uh, bull, bull blends, the, like the tiny guys, they are also extremely, extremely hard to deal with and fight. Should I just use a spray on this guy? Nah, let's go for it. Okay, alright, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're fine, we're awesome. I love the, um, the music for this place. I love the horns and stuff like that. Um, it makes you feel like suddenly you're in, like, the halls of royalty or something like that. <laughs> the Crystal Clover, oh, that's cool. That was the only treasure. They made you fight one of these guys. There, that was the only so what's the point of all this well I'm sure I'm sure a treasure could have spawned up here but I guess it just didn't is there anything up here this is the weird thing about caves right like we already finished the room and stuff and it's like well what what was this entire structure for this is the whole unique structure that we're just not gonna talk about or use like all right I think it was an interesting choice to have the music be so subdued, but like all the sounds of everything else be in the forefront. I don't know. It's interesting. Anyways, here we go. Okay, was that everything? Killed all the stuff? I mean, they give us a red candy pop butt already. I, sometimes it really does feel like when you enter caves, you're, you're like playing a roguelike. <laughs> As far as like layouts where treasure is placed, whether they give you like a candy pop bud or not, where they give it to you, like like in the last when I left the last cave, uh, we did the Citadel of Spiders and then came back, and then it was like, oh, here's um, here's a bunch more, it was like a candy pop flower just like came from the sky. Okay, we got a Dweeble. Kill a Dweeble. My bare hands. And why not? <laughs> it's actually pretty effective, all things considered. Don't want to get lit up too bad. Yeah, almost got hands since, since being here last time. Okay, I just want to know, is anything going to like fall down? Fight us, hurt us, eat my bones. Sometimes you really gotta like hug walls and stuff too. Oh, you know what though? 
I think I think some things only ow oh that was a needless damage. Some things only fall when you uh, have a Pikmin with you. So what you really have to do is you have to hold a Pikmin and then run through. And then see if anything is gonna like <laughs> drop down and kill you. Doesn't seem like it. It's interesting that the music also changes from floor to floor. Good boys up here. Going to zoom out. There we go. Very, very interesting little layer right here. Stone. I feel like we're about to have the entire gem set. It's for sure going to be a gem set. <clears throat> Seems good. Cool. Going deeper. Um, I mean, the caves will eventually also just start getting longer as well, which is also a big thing. starts to become a sort of like war of attrition. That's why like a lot of like ROM hacks and stuff for this game kind of play with that. Of like, hey, how many Pikmin do you think you can lose before things get bad? Oh, these guys just make you lose flowers, which is awful. Awesome. They leave no body behind, so there's nothing to mourn. <laughs> you know what, though? I've seen a, I've seen a lot of clips of people playing this the, these games for the first time now, uh, which is funny because I, I guess I hadn't considered like again, could because Nintendo doesn't make a lot of their games easily or like readily available, right? So they're gonna fall down. Hold on. Is something going to come down or do I need to dig this up? Okay. Seems like maybe I dig this up. Okay, all right, all right. I learned my lesson from last time I actually brought white Pikmin, so. Oh they, actually, oh, they actually gave you a flower, in case you did. That's nice. Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll turn some reds into more whites. Uh, yeah, but so, like, so, like, not everybody has, like, ever touched the Pikmin series, and so it's like, here's the thing, Nintendo was smart, releasing the first and second game, already, like, preemptively releasing a deluxe version of 3, and now coming out with 4? Having all those games on one system, that's a, that's a really good, that is a good way to get people to Olimo Knight Shell? Interesting. Like, I'm, I'll be interested to see why he called it Olimo Knight. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting, uh, 
like it was a smart choice for sure because I mean that get that will get people to try the series you show a bunch of stuff for Pikmin 4 it piques people's interest looks kind of cool and then people who have never played Pikmin before suddenly they're wondering hmm I wonder what that Pikmin game is all about and what it was like um Um, and then you and then you give them the opportunity to actually go and see what it's about, which is awesome. Uh, it is just a a smart thing. And my friend, who is even who's like usually very like um uh is very whatever like because like they don't like remakes and stuff coming out. Like they don't like seeing like more remakes come out than like new things. And you know I totally understand that. Um. Unless, unless, or, or, or remasters, unless they're like really going to try and change something with it. And I get that, and I think that's fair. Um, however, I do think, oh, every, every single Pikmin type also has like a different thing for like a different image, depending on whether they're leaves or buds. You rarely ever get buds, uh, but leaves or buds or flowers, like completely different like images in the bottom, which is cool. <coughs> <laughs> oh, nope. Just Nectar. I think there's always one. There's exactly one yellow who still has a leaf. How does that always happen? Whatever. Okay, keep going. Um... Even they had to admit that, like, the Super Mario RPG, like, the, the, they're excited for Super Mario RPG because they like the game, and the game's really cool, and that's how they get you. They have, that's, that's how they get you. It's like, you can be, you can be a person who's, the, who's like, this, who's sick of all these ports and remasters and remakes, um, but the moment they make something that you have fond memories of, they, they've won. They've defeated you. <laughs> Oh crud. Oh crud. Oh, it's a red one. Got it. <laughs> 18, baby, let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cheesy. It's so unnecessary. I have so much. Every single time I go to a new place, I send somebody to go and get more of the potions. Get him, boys! Yeah! Nice. I remember the white and purple flowers being a little bit more rare. Maybe the more rare in the later ones. That could be it. Oh, there's actually two in this state. That's great. Completely messed up. I don't know how a single one didn't hit. Oh, in order to fuel today, I have um, this leg of the adventure. I have uh, freaking Arizona half and half tea, the, Ar the Arnold Palmer, um, which is pretty freaking good. I mean, it's definitely my favorite one. It's probably one of my favorite just drinks in general, whether it's Arizona or not. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, for sure. Cool. You can go grab that. You can go grab this. Is there... Oh, no! Oh, this is why you check in advance. Oh, good heavens. I don't take my own advice. 
But then if I took my own advice, we would have much less of situations like this. Holy crap, you guys go further. I don't remember you going so far. Die, 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 please. Just die, just die. Whoa. Oh. What was... He didn't even jump up. He just... He just flattened into the ground. And killed how many? He killed, like... Seven of my Pikmin? I think he killed whites and purples. I think he killed whites and purples exclusively. <laughs> what the crud? Oh my gosh, he killed like five. <sighs> that hurts. That hurts, that hurts me in a way that is indescribable. What was that? That was like that was like an actual glitch. This game, this game freaking. I swear, <laughs> I love this game so much. But I, I I love it and hate it for the same reasons, and it's because of things like that. Like why the heck did that happen? Why did I why did I lose like five purple Pikmin, and I think a couple whites? Oh, just because you know, just because the Wallywog that was dead, by the way, de we all saw it was dead. It just decided that, um, yeah, you know, it, it just decided, hey, actually, actually, I'm not dead, and I don't, I don't even need to jump up to kill you. I'm just going to flatten into the ground for a moment. <laughs> like, what the heck, man? Okay, so, I think, I think the mistake I'm making with the, the Wallywogs. Is um is that I'm 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 relying on the purples stunning them when in actuality it's like oh no I'm relying on the purples ability to stun things. The problem with that being um Still is more treasure though. Oh, there still is. Oh, that guy wasn't. There just happened to be. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, crud. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Yeah, the freaking gold. Flint, uh, the gold flint beetles, um, drop treasures and stuff like that. I don't think, I don't think you can miss them. Like, I think, I think even if they go back in the ground, they'll just pop up somewhere else. I don't think you suddenly can't get them again. Um, although that, that, that would be really cruel if that was the case. <laughs> What's this? Crystal King. Okay, hallelujah. Um, Primity, okay, no more, no more heart attacks. Louie, you just keep everybody and you sit here. Olimar, you go to the end. <laughs> Ugh. Um, you know, it was funny because I was just talking about clip, like seeing a bunch of clips floating around and people playing these games for the first time, and a lot of the clips are like that, of like some random. It's like when when I that first Pikmin I lost, how I threw it, and instead of going in the normal arc that the other ten Pikmin that preceded it went on, it went straight. It went straight. It was just tumbling straight through the air, straight into a pool of water. I couldn't get it out of. 
Oh, crud. Okay. It's dark. It's freaking dark. We're back with the with the with the trumpet music, which means we're back to being where bow blocks are. Oh. Oh. But some things only spawn when you have Pikmin, so come on. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, bomb rocks. So welcome to bomb rocks. Um. Well, welcome, welcome to Bomb Rocks. What will you be st eating tonight? <laughs> and this is why you go and you check ahead. Oh, and sometimes there's a delay. Sometimes they don't they don't drop on the first go. Sometimes they drop on the second on the walk back. It's so mean. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh, that was really bad. I think he. Oh my gosh, the stunning! I did, the Pikmin shifted and and they and they moved the purples to the back. That sucks. Do I reset it? <laughs> I could reset it. B would be so easy. Um. Well, cause hold on, I want to walk out of this place with like with like extra freaking purple numbers, right? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this place with the amount of purples that I came in with. After after I got two candy pop buds, I don't think so. Okay, hold on. How many was that? I had 93, and then I just lost. Um. Yeah, what I had I had 93, and then I just lost um. And now I have 86, so yeah, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna restart this sub level. I'll I'll see you in a moment. No, no, I take it back. We're not doing it. We're not we're not going back. I live with my mistakes. It is what it is. I made I made a mistake there. I walked in. I alerted him, and then I got sloppy. Freaking, freaking holy crud. <laughs> it's so rude. Okay. Unless something like devastating happens and we lose like a hundred and one fail swoop, right? Then, then like, yeah, no holds bar, anything goes. Oh, listen to the music now. It hurts me. It seems like every time I lose Pikmin, it's purples. I think it's because you would you usually throw them into harm's way first. Um, I just none of them landed on him. They were stunning him like through the like the by being in the vicinity of him, but like. gang. Onward and downward. Man. Yeah, I watched uh, I watched somebody. <laughs> somebody on Twitter changed their name to Orange Bull Bulb. Or Orange Bull Blacks, I mean, and then said, make sure you go feed your, and then like fed an entire, like all 100 Pikmin to a Bull Blacks. <laughs> 
they eat them so fast. It's horrifying. It's so devastating. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, with these ones, isn't it like you throw a Pikmin in and then they just automatically give you five more? No. No, no, no. Oh, no, I think it's the white ones. Oh, it's the white ones, yeah. The white candy pop buds, the ones that change colors, if you throw a Pikmin in, it will it will change them to more of that one color, I think. Can I get some back? This place is giving me a lot of purples. That's that's for sure. Du duly noted that this place has the chance of giving you so many uh, purple candy pop buds. It'd be kind of a nightmare to have to walk back through, but once you get all the treasures and stuff, it's pretty easy to just go, you can usually just go straight to the next floor. Take a yellow with me. Come on, bud. We are quickly losing reds because I usually use them to make more. Oh yeah, this this floor kind of sucks. <laughs> okay. Oh crap. That was actually free. That was free as heck. That was a good combination of things to have happened. I, you know what I really should have done? When that guy was coming forward and I knew that we weren't going, and I, and I noticed that the purple Pikmin weren't keeping him stunned, I should have used a bitter spray. But I am weak. And I did not want to waste it, even though I have six already. <laughs> Oh, I saw the guy, I saw the big guy moving. The Dweevil was pushing him around. Oh, that scared me so much. Resist it. You can see how much they resist it. Oh, it's either resistance or oh, it's another gem. Freaking Dweevil. It's either another. It's either they resist it or or your Pikmin, your purple Pikmin, don't get a good arc in order to uh, slam down. Because they do have to do the slam animation. That's the thing. Do orange bull blacks pursue you endlessly? They seem like they might. No, no, he's turning around, he's turning around. They're just fast. They're fast in all regards. Which I do not like. I was trying to hear the uh, the difference between Olimar and Louis' Pikmin working theme. Oh wow, this one's very shiny. 
The Eternal Emerald Eye. A lot of jewel, a lot of like jewelry and gems and stuff in this place. It's cool that there's like a bit of a theme going on. What's a button to lie down now? Oh. Oh, it's clicking the right the right stick. That's funny. Uh no, I'll nab those guys after. No, oh, 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 oh. come back, come back. Sorry, bud. Is this the thing I have to get? Oh, the whole skull? I don't remember this one. That's grim. Scary. I had a feeling it would be an egg, though. I had a feeling. Okay, and then that way. Hoi, oi, oi. Okay. I think I think we're good on this floor. I'm starting to feel it now. I'm really starting to feel it now. I was kind of vi I was kind of just going about my business in this game, and the cat was just kind of blowing through caves like 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 it was whatever. And now I'm starting to feel. Starting to feel the thing that makes that really, really makes this game like the Pikmin 2, Pikmin 2. Oh, wait, there's one more treasure. I should get that while these guys are doing this. I had a feeling, I had a feeling. <laughs> I even, I thought to myself, right when I started swarming the Pikmin, I was like, you know, I never checked behind the treasure, and sometimes the game's pretty finicky about how things spawn. And, uh, yeah. Pretty low on reds. Should I convert some yellows to reds? I don't think I really need to. As long as I have, as as long as I have some red. Although, are they giving me reds because I'm gonna need them up? Because there's this, this a fiery bull blacks. I you can always use a spray on a fiery bull blocks though. Colossal fossil. <laughs> All right. Somebody was having fun with that one. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe some? No, we still have pretty- it seems like we still have pretty good red numbers. I mean, well, uh, yeah, because what you can do is- well, actually, let's let's check. How many reds do we have? So we got 20. Yeah. What we can always do, we can use a spicy spray to make up for the lack of numbers, too. That's- that's always a thing. Actually, I could be using spicy spray at all. Well, I haven't really been using them at all. I've used one so far to like break down. No, two. I've the two that I have used that I can think of. I've used to break down walls, which is kind of funny. I see. Oh, is this it? Seems like just a big room. Oh, it is. You should uh, recognize those eye stalks. Long time no see. Because, of course, there wouldn't just be one. Because Emperor Bowblax is just, you know. <clears throat> He's just an animal, like, like all the other animals that we fight, you know? It'd be like an emperor, uh, an emperor beetle or something. Oh boy. Alright, Louie. Oh, cut. I always press the wrong button. I always get them mixed up. You go... Make a new friend. There he is. Just as big, too, honestly. And if you notice, we don't have bomb rocks this time. Oh, crud. I missed, I missed it. Oh, quick, you have to be so close. Most impressive, this fierce beast became hard as stone at the mere, at a, in a mere instant. The ultimate bitter extract seems to have a side effect that stops beasts in their tracks. Ooh. Aye, aye, aye. I did not get much use out of that. Oh! He still does the hop? <clears throat> I don't remember him doing the hop. You know what? <laughs> Hold on. I want to have a better fight than this. I just like for my uh, for my own. I'm I, I, like I feel bad about this fight so far. I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> okay. Uh, take two of that because that was. <laughs> That was a absolute mess. Hey, at least I'm at least I'm honest about my saves coming. I just like here's the thing in games like when a fight goes bad in anything, I always want to reset and just try again because I just want to have like a good fight. You know, it's not even it's almost less even about like how many Pikmin I lose because you can always get more Pikmin. It's more so about just like I want to do better. You know. Oh, I understand, ship. No, I get you. 
I agree. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Just... Oh, whoa, he hated that. Oh, he ate, he ate some white Pikmin, yeah. Intriguing, this creature showed symptoms of poisoning after consuming white Pikmin. Perhaps white Pikmin excrete poisonous substance when chewed. How fascinating. Oh, when chewed? Oh, criminy. I hate that. Oh, quote, he scattered them. Oh. Better, not amazing. <laughs> oh. It's an action figure, nice. I wonder if this is based off of something. Well, if this, like, actually is something. My initial report indicates the giant bull black spat out some sort of object. It looks fascinating, but it's drenched in the creature's internal juices. Disgusting. Oh, don't roll your eyes at me. I'll store it for you. <laughs> Sorry, ship. Come on now. And then he becomes small. For once, we can actually take Emperor Bullblax back to the ship. Could you take him back to the ship in the first game? He's so big. Primity. Yeah, so Emperor Bullblax is just a dude now. That you can... <laughs> that you have to deal with sometimes. <laughs> The Forged Courage. Sweet. This material has perplexing properties. I will try fusing the, with this spare spacesuit. Processing complete. Success. Behold my latest invention, the Scorch Code. Thanks to the heat resistant alloy, this suit is now impervious to fire. Yeah, so now we're just immune to fire. We don't have to worry about getting hit by anything involving fire now. Which is super great and cool. Um, okay. Yeesh. We walked in with 100. We're leaving with 77. So we're getting a C. <laughs> a high C. A C plus. A C plus. That's not bad. Just wanted to try that to retry that fight. Because I feel like I got up to such a bad start. Um... It was rough. It was genuinely pretty freaking rough. Okay, do we have enough reds to do whatever the heck we need to do up here? Excuse me, yellow. Not your turn. Also surrounded by water. Freaking weird. Oh, I understand. I see. This is this is to they designed this in order for you to uh, be able to test out your thing because it's a bunch of fire, but we're immune to fire now. So we walk right through. Oh, oh, this kind of reminds me of the uh, the gyroids from Animal Crossing. Gyroids surely are based off of some actual thing in Japan. I should zoom the camera out for that fight too. It's um that fight was kinda hard because it was hard to get a stun on him. The stun didn't last very long. But we did we did tear into him pretty easily with the uh, spicy spray, so that's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I mean, after Pikmin 1, I don't know why I'm- I, I don't know why I'm, I get so hung up on losing Pikmin. Especially in these caves. These caves which are like, way harder than anything in Pikmin 1. <laughs> Weird. Kinda haunting. Oh yeah, gyroid bust. Interesting, 250. Jeez. That was... That was a higher higher price than the um 
the giant like mech that we got. I don't really understand that, but whatever. Oh yeah, that was a rough day. <laughs> Used to many more. Are we gonna end positive on purples at least? Like, are we gonna end 23 Pikmin lost? Ow! It hurts. And don't worry, I am keeping track of Pikmin that I lose on resets too. I think that's a big thing. The, re the real reason why I'm not gonna worry about resetting too much if I feel like doing that. Because it's like, I'm gonna keep track of how many Pikmin I lost. So we can have a true total in the end. So, so far I've, I've actually lost to 17 more Pikmin. So if you add that to the 23... <laughs> Uh, then I, then I die a little inside. Um, yeah, so cool. That was quite the freaking haul. We got 1,300 off of one cave. More than halfway there now. I think we're actually just gonna have that cave be the whole episode, because... That's a pretty substantial part. That that cave took a took a bit of time for sure. Yeah, bum 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 bum. Oh, you know what? Let's let's put our purples back. What are we looking at? Twenty-two. So we actually we have one less than we started the day with. <laughs> Oh, and we still only have two. We, we broke even on white Pikmin. We must have, even though we there was like a white flower bud in there at one point. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, uh, no more, no no purple berries. Just at the very end of the day. Oh. Uh -huh. I don't know if these guys are going to get these, uh... They're still... Hmm. Where are there still treasures? Probably this way, right? Yeah, there's still this whole other side area. Alright, okay. Oh, Louis gets a little, like, ominous sort of eerie note that plays in the background for his. Oh, we got a, we got a purple spray that we used back up. That's great. That's actually very worth it. I love the run cycles of Olimar and Louie. The animations are so goofy. And how does Louie feel about any of this? This can't feel great. <laughs> Coming to this strange place, knowing that Olimar almost died here. Oh, Louis, Louie, your head, you're, it's sticking out of the... The pressure when you hit, get to, when we get to space, Louie. Put your head back in the cockpit. <laughs> and then Louie died. The uh, the air pressure at 40,000 feet <laughs> murdered him instantly. Ah, <laughs> uh, hit me with it. Oh. Wow, we are, we are like much for oh well actually no we're further down on reds because we turned we converted a bunch of them way <laughs> lost today 23 that was the that was the high we we had only lost um we had only lost six before that dang we lost the most today. I mean, that was, again, the 
That was the first cave that kind of ramps it up a bit. It had freaking bomb rocks and a wallywog that glitched out and murdered a bunch of dudes, which was crazy. <laughs> um, almost forgot that was the same cave. Had the freaking orange pick bull borbs, bull blacks, I mean. Um, they eat people super fast. Had emperor bull blacks with no way to stun him, like, easily or consistently. Jeez. Olimar, you're my hero. You've erased half of our debt. Still, things have become a bit dangerous, so I'm going into hiding. Focus on work. Don't slack off. Oh yes, the president has entered his his going into hiding arc. Things are only getting better. <clears throat> well, okay. We're gonna end this episode with a little bit of, uh... reading here. Dang, yeah, see? They, like, they must have redone... Or maybe had the original images of these images? Because these images look super good. Uh, oh yeah, definitely want to read that. Iridescent Glint Beetle. Glint Beetle family. Oh, this is the Iridescent Glint Beetle. What's the other one? Iridescent Flint Beetle. Oh, it's Glint and Flint. I see, I see. This variety of beetle consumes subterranean minerals. Due to the fact that it rarely emerges above grounds, sightings of it is particular of this particular species are extremely rare. While minerals are this beast's primary source of food, the beetle itself does not have the ability to digest these minerals. Instead, metabacteria living inside the beetle's stomach chemically break down the minerals. The resulting purified metal is discharged, but rare metals such as gold and platinum crystallize onto the iridescent glint beetle shell, resulting in the beautiful laminated shimmer. Cool. Okay, yeah, let's read the freaking- oh, this is the wall- okay, so this is the wally hop. This is a yellow wally hop, this is a- These guys really aren't called wally wogs? Why do I always call them that? That's gonna be a hard habit to break. It is believed that juvenile wally hops were once carried by underground current. Oh, were once carried by underground current into caverns, where they thrived in the dark habitat. This trug troglodyte trog troglodytic species of wally hops coloration results from generations of cave dwelling and lack of sunlight. Comparative differences between the size and shape of the wally hop and other species are thought to be the result of natural selection at work. Choosing traits better suited to life in subterranean environment. Hmm. Hence probably like the red eyes and general shape of it. Okay, then obviously the big boy. Oh, this guy only killed nine Pikmin. How many did the did the Wally Hop kill? Seven. Dang. Oh, then it tells you how many of these things we've defeated. Very interesting. Lost- oh, and then we lost seven to an orange bull bulb. Oh, I do want to read on these guys. Orange bull bulb, grub dog family. This bulb door- bulb dorb. <laughs> I'm making even dumber names. Bulb bulb species boasts a garish color pattern with a deep orange body and black spots. The orange bulb bulb's yellow bloodshot eyes make it clear that this grub dog is excessively edgy and high strung, making it easier to wake mm, from deep sleep than other species in the Bulborb family. Okay, so these ones are easier to wake. I mean, it doesn't mention the fact that they also eat your Pikmin way faster, too. Whoa! Why so many? This is the Breadbug family. Yes, yeah, it's, it's so interesting that, this, that the dwarf ones are like part of a different species. Just as dwarf, bo dwarf red bulborbs mimic the appearance of red bulborbs, it was theorized that orange bulborbs mimicking oh, orange bulborb mimic, mimicking variant also must also exist. Recent fieldwork has confirmed this theory. Yeah, it makes sense. And now the big guy, Emperor Bulbox. Horrifying. When he freaking giant mouth comes out of the ground, horrifying. The largest member of the grub dog family is normally found buried in the ground, with only the stalks of its eyes exposed. This camouflage allows the predator to surprise smaller creatures and use its long adhesive tongue to capture prey. 
The thick hide and angular hump give the organism a distinct rock-like quality. During the rainy season, moss grows freely on the hump, making it nearly impossible to distinguish this lethal predator from a stone. I hope this guy comes back in uh, in Pikmin 4, because I would love to see, like we mentioned, like, like it being rocky and there being like moss and stuff. I would love to see that like fully realized in the in a new game. Very fascinating. Okay, back to the area selection, and oh, you know what? Almost forgot treasures. <clears throat> All my thoughts. I found this marvelous alloy in the hole swarming with bulborbs. On that adventure, I even clashed with an Emperor Bulblax. In honor of my triumph over that appalling beast, I named the hole the Bulblax Kingdom. Not too much to say about that. How about, uh, some of these jewels? I've lived for decades, and yet there are still mysteries that are beyond my comprehension. For example, why are some people so crazy about things that sparkle? That's one enigma I'll probably never unravel. <laughs> oh gosh, that's actually pretty good. With the assistance of the blue Pikmin, we found a canister of paint today. I used it to give the ship a fresh coat of paint. But did it thank me? No. As a space pilot, I've always treated my ship like a trusted companion, even if it is a smart aleck. Yet that snobbish ship has the gall to complain about the color. There's no pleasing it. Forget this. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Detailed analysis has revealed that this artifact is extremely ancient. It's probably an important archaeological discovery. But the salesman in me is more interested in the monetary value. Maybe I'll get the best of both worlds by selling it to a museum. Hmm, it says this one's particularly ancient. Yeah, because not all these things seem super ancient. Oh, yeah, what about this? This must be the fossilized remains of an enormous land-dwelling creature. I was on, uh, yeah, confirmation that, like, what I would assume to be, like, an ape? Of some sort of monkey? It, it would exist in this world? That would be horrifying. Uh, any any mammals that would be this size to fight would be horrifying. We will get to those. Wait, Pikmin 3 is right around the corner. Um, I was unable to piece together the entire beast, but it certainly had a massive head. It's obviously quite different from the Pikmin and the other creatures I've encountered. Perhaps it's an extinct creature that couldn't adapt to the changes in the environment. <clears throat> Perhaps. And it couldn't adapt to the changes in the environment. This is this is still when um, the Pikmin games seemed to be saying that like everybody was extinct for a long, long time, and that the world was constantly shifting and whatnot. Um, that does not seem to be the case in the new one, but who the heck, who the heck knows? Okay. And with that, we're done there. Um, next time. I mean, what, we have options now. We can go to any area and do anything in whatever order we want. Um, there are still two more caves and a bunch of other stuff to look at in the Valley of Apos. Um, or we could just try to finish the Awakening Woods. There's not that much left. Although, again, the later the later caves you get to, the, the, wor the worst things get in each area. So, uh, I don't know, I'll play it by ear. Maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll hop around a little bit, you know? No need to finish everything all at once. Um, until then, though, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified of more things in the future. Uh, videos of this coming out every day, streams for, Zelda, uh, for Tears of the Kingdom at the moment, um, happening every so often. Um, a couple times a week, usually. And, uh, yeah. Uh, there's links in the description. Me and my friend are making a game. Links in the description of ways you can support us. Patreon, streams, videos, all of that. Any and all support is always appreciated. And yeah, obviously share anything involving uh, my friend's uh, game dev stream that, that they do on Twitch. And uh, our Patreon, stuff like that. Share that around. Get some interest with the game going. If that is all at all interesting to you. Um, and yeah. Until next time, I hope you uh, enjoyed this, and don't forget to be kind and have a good day. See you around.